CF most. This acronym and other slight variations of it is commonly used for troubleshooting in the event of rough running, partial or complete engine failures in most light aeroplanes. These six points have over the years been determined as being the major root causes of engine trouble. I thought I'd share with you some practical stories, tales or anecdotes if you like regarding CF most, some real examples that uh, I recall from over the years. Let's keep it in the same order and start with C for carburetor heat. I remember once I was flying in a vintage aeroplane uh, with, a, uh, with a student a long time ago and uh, we experienced a little bit of rough running on route. I asked the pilot to apply carburetor heat and he did and suddenly it made things worse. Now that's to be expected because once it will, if there is any ice, as the engine ingests that moisture and ice, it'll start to run a little rougher and of course the hotter air going into the engine is going to make the mixture richer. So you're going to get a worse result to start with, but that's fine, leave it on. He immediately said, oh, it's much worse, I'd better turn it off. No, don't. F stands for fuel and uh, remember we want to check that the uh, fuel is switched onto the fullest tank and if you have them put boost pumps on. I recall in the early 80s some uh, pilots I knew flew a Piper Arrow from the Hunter Valley down to Melbourne. Uh, they uh, were getting close to their destination they had a total engine failure and landed beautifully, lovely emergency landing, into a paddock to find that they had one full tank <laughs> and one empty tank. M is for mixture. We're talking about fuel mixture. We uh, should check that the mixture lever is, or levers if you're a twin, are uh, in the full rich position. I recall once some other friends of mine traveling from Western New South Wales back to Queensland in a Warbird and they were a little fuel limited. So they wanted to cruise high and lean their mixture to conserve their fuel supply. When they arrived at their destination, on the downwind leg, having flown quite a descent, they reapplied power, only to find detonation and really rough running. Further to that, they called Mayday and had all of the emergency services called out, only to find that uh, forgotten to rich in the mixture after the descent. O is for oil. We check the temperatures and pressures. Now, why do we do that? It's no, no good just looking at the oil temperature and pressure gauges and saying, oh yes, temps and pressures, check. Why are we actually doing it? What are we looking for? Well, we want to establish how bad the situation may possibly be. If the temps and pressures are in their normal parameters, in other words, in the green ranges, things probably aren't too bad and we might be able to solve the problem. However, if we're looking and seeing a high oil temperature, for example, lack of oil pressure, it's pretty sure that things are going to get worse and we may not be able to fix that and should set up for forced landing. S is for switches. We're talking about magneto switches. We should check that they're both on to start with and then cycle them to see whether we have possibly one bad magneto. It's also very important to check that you don't have big heavy bunches of keys on a key ring attached to your ignition switch because in turbulence this can act like a pendulum and swing to the point where it may switch one or both magnetos off. Has happened. And of course we should also, while we have switches in mind, attempt to restart. T is for throttle. We're talking about throttle linkages. We should cycle the throttle to check the condition of the throttle linkages. If a throttle linkage has been damaged or broken, it might mean that if we cycle the throttle, we may be able to achieve partial power, or we may even be able to make the engine stick on full power. Let's finish by saying that the uh, engines in our light aeroplanes are extremely reliable and any kind of engine trouble is really unlikely.